What's up, guys? It's DJ Green, official DJ for DMV Access. This is going to be the first of many album mixtape reviews. We're starting off with Virginia's very own Pusha T. So, you know, he's been around the game forever, rapping his brother Malice, who's in clips. This is his debut album, My Name is My Name. Tell you one thing, I do not disappoint at all. Only disappointment I have with it, it's only 12 tracks. I mean, that's literally the only complaint I have about this album. So, you guys know Pusha T's been, you know, came from Virginia Beach area, pushing crack, pushing coke. You've heard them talk about it, you've heard them rap about it. A little fun fact about the album. The cover art of it, the barcode, the numbers at the bottom add up to 36. One, 36 years old. Two, 36 ounces in a kilo. A little fun fact for you. So, kind of give you a little rundown of the album. Run through the tracks a little bit in order. Track you just heard, you might still hear it faintly. It's called King Push. First track on the album. Starts off hot. I mean, first line of the whole album is, this is my time, this is my hour. He sets the stage. He's telling y'all, he's taking it over, and he does it, man. Another line that stands out to me in that, in this first track. He says, vulture to my culture, insult the struggle and insult you. The name dropping about cane dropping, but never been a foot soldier. Actually, that line, if I just heard it right now. I mean, he said it all right there. Calls out all the fake rappers. All the rappers that are saying, you know, they've been trapping. They've been pushing. They grew up in the streets. But, you know, they grew up in their mom's house. You know, they may not have had a ton of money, but they were doing all right. Or even the ones that were poor, but they weren't pushing. They were... You know, working minimum wage jobs. That's cool. Don't get me wrong. But he's calling them out. He's saying, don't take advantage of my struggles. Don't take advantage of what I lived through, what I've done to sell records. Anyone you know in the game, they're going to agree with you. Because it's a struggle. Being in the game is not some simple, uh, fun, quick, easy money. It's, it's a struggle. So, next track on the album, which I think it's got to be, it's got to be my favorite track. It's called Numbers on the Boards. It's Kanye produced. I got it on for you right now. Sick old school Kanye beat. I mean, he's he's talking, again, pushing drugs. That's pushing tea for you. Awesome part of this track. I'm going to fast forward real quick for you. So he, first of all, he starts it off with the Jay-Z reference, the Jay-Z quote, and right here. That right there, the Jay-Z sample into the Biggs Burke reference. For you those who don't know, Biggs Burke was... One of Jay-Z's partners at uh, Rockefeller Records got caught up in a case for, you know, basically selling weed on tour. So he said, mix, what do you say? He said, mix drug and show money, Biggs broke on tour. Crazy. But the, the flawless, the smoothness of that sample into that line carries throughout this whole album. It... I mean, you could tell he wanted this album to be absolutely perfect. He had Kanye helping him out. He had Pharrell. I mean, these are two of the greatest, easily two of the greatest uh, producers of our generation and probably ever. And, I mean, they really, they brought this, they brought this project together incredibly, incredibly well. Um, I mean, next track, Sweet Serenade. This is everybody's favorite track on the album. I mean, the Chris Brown hook, repping from Virginia. He's got Chris Brown in it. He's got Pharrell. He's got him. Like, 
he pushed Virginia hard in this album. And as Virginia native, you can't beat that to me. I mean, this, again, this album is real. It's smooth. He's got references. He's got bars. It's for real. It is an incredible album. So he goes on. He's got Rick Ross in the next track called Hold On. His song called Suicide, produced by Pharrell. He is sick. For the, uh, yeah, For the Acre is another song of Rick Ross. No Regrets has got the Dream saying on it. I mean, it's a star studded out. Kelly Rowland, Two Chains, Big Sean. Who else he got? He's got Kendrick Lamar on Nostalgia. Awesome track. He's got Future. And the last song. The last song on the album is called Snitch. Actually, it's spelled out S dot N dot I, you know. It's featuring Pharrell. This track right here, it's, I mean, you've never heard, I mean, that I can think of, you haven't heard a rapper speaking from the perspective of Snitch. Or, the, I mean, you know, you hear rappers saying, no snitch and stop snitching. Shout out to Cameron. And, I mean, you hear about all this, like, don't snitch, all that. But have you ever heard a rapper discusses conversation on the phone with the snitch when he's locked up or the conversation while the snitch is locked up in jail and he's saying I'm just trying to get home I gotta do what I gotta do I mean he's saying he's got eerie feelings about it I mean this is this track is so real you like honestly it blows my mind a little bit how perfectly done this track is so Obviously, you guys can tell I love the album. For me, My Name Is My Name, album of the year, hands down. Keep in mind, this is a year where Kanye dropped Yeezus. Say what you want about that album. We might talk about that one pretty soon. Jay-Z dropped Magna Carta, The Holy Grail. I love the album. Um, obviously, it's not Jay's best. It's no black album, no blueprint, no reasonable doubt. But it's a dope album. Uh, Drake, Nothing Was The Same. J. Cole, Born Sinner, awesome album. My Name Is My Name, album of the year to me. Easy. I mean, Kanye, Kanye signed himself a star in Pusha T. This is a dude that came from Virginia. He's been repping Virginia. He came from the struggle, and he's made it. He's stuck with it through all these years of, you know, yeah, people knew him. That's people in the rap game knew him. You know, you knew him for uh, top, down, chrome spinning. But was he ever a star? Kanye signed him. Kanye turned him into one. And I'm so glad he did because this dude needs the recognition that he's about to be getting because he's a power. He's a power in the rap game. Um... I mean, honestly, some of the references in this, I got some notes here, but all these references in the uh, album, I mean, this guy said, might sell a brick on my birthday, 36 years of getting dirt like it's Earth Day. Earth, dirt, you got that, that's easy. This dude's 36 years old, like I said about his album cover. He also he says 36 years or 36 years of doing dirt like it's Earth Day. So not only is it 36 years, but again, 36 ounces in a kilo. I mean, it's line after line. Number or in King Push, he says, uh, "What is it? The big letters also connect." Uh, so he he has a line. What's he say? He says, "Let's see." My bad, I wasn't prepared for that one. Alright, so basically his line was hold up, hold up, hold up.
Alright, Nate, you gonna cut this part out for me, alright. <laughs> but, uh. Back to me a second, hold up. Alright, so cut that part, that big pause, you know, until right up here. So this dude said, and then lights on you and then letters big, you point us out just like an eye chart. You're like, alright, he's just pointing things out like an eye chart, that's cool. You think about it, the letters in the eye chart are big, you're pointing those out. When he's talking about the lights on you, he's talking about interrogation lights. And letters big, he's talking about FBI. DEA, you know, um, ATF. He's talking about the big law enforcement acronyms. I mean, this dude's crazy. Like that that's reminiscent of Jay Z to me. That's reminiscent of kind of uh, like uh, I keep one eye open like CBS type of line. It's awesome. And he says the end of the song, he says, Best D-Boy, all I'm missing is a dash. Difference between me and Hova. Pusha T, doesn't have a dash in his name. Jay-Z, yeah, I mean, he dropped it recently, but he did have a dash. But also Dame Dash. See, I mean, it's double entendres all over the place. And it, it this dude makes you think. So if you don't have the album, go out, cop it. Pay for it. Don't just download it. Support Pusha T. If you're from the DMV, especially if you're from Virginia, you gotta put support Pusha T. I mean, this dude's putting us on the map as we should be. We're one of the most overlooked hip hop states. But you think about it, we got Pharrell, we got Pusha T, we got I mean we got Malice to the clips. Yeah, I mean even Missy Elliott could spit. Chris Brown, Trey Songs, uh, rapper Skills down in um Richmond area. We're a hip hop state. Timberland. But we're overlooked because everyone moves out. Pusha T's got us. So let's support him. Let's buy his album. Let's bump this. And do yourself a favor and get it, man, because this is fire. Ah, uh, man. By the rate out of 10, well, here. I'll put it this way this is an A album. Easily an A album. I think I gotta give him a 9 out of 10. Only reason it's not a 10 is because it's only 12 tracks. And I find myself wanting more at the end. I find myself wanting to hear more. I want, I mean, I wish, I wish this album was 24 tracks. I wish this album was 30 tracks. Because every bar is fire. Alright, guys. Till next time, it's DJ Greens, DMV Access. Keep supporting, keep listening. This wasn't the smoothest review ever, but you know, first one, so we'll smoothen out. Thanks for listening, thanks for supporting. Look out for us, we're on the rise.